chapter is all to do with rates of change. So remember, we've got two different ways of working out the rate of change. We've got the average, which uses two endpoints, which we work out by just doing a simple gradient calculations, difference in y over difference in x. And we also have the instantaneous rate of change, which we can work out just by calculating the derivative at the point itself. So f dash of a. Alrighty, so let's have a look at comparing the two different answers we're gonna get. So part a, determine the average rate of change of f for the interval zero to two. So first of all, we need to work out the values of f of zero and f of two. So it's gonna be zero squared plus six times zero plus eight, which is eight. And f of two is gonna be two to the two squared plus six times two plus eight, which is four plus 12 plus eight, which is 24. All right, so now that I've worked out that, now I can just substitute into the average rate of change formula, m of 24 minus eight, all over two minus zero. Same as calculating a gradient between the two points. Remember the first point is zero eight, and the second point is 224. 16 over two, which is a gradient of eight. So this is the average rate of change between these two points is eight. B is looking for the instantaneous rate of change. So we're gonna work that out by first working out the derivative of f of x, which is two x plus six. All right. So to work out the gradient at x equals two, we just substitute x equals two in. Four plus six is 10. And so the instantaneous rate of change at x equals two is 10. And the average rate of change between zero and two is eight. All right, thanks for watching.